Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm back with another reading for the Capricorn Collective. So thanks for joining me. Big thank you to my returning subscribers. I really love and appreciate you guys. I hope everyone's good and doing well. If you're new, you're more than welcome. Thanks for joining. So let's jump into this reading. I've got some messages for this reading. So let's tap into the energies, lay out some tarot. And let's see what spirit wants us to be aware of turn this time so we've got the queen of pentacles four of wands and four. Oh, oh i see a commitment here oh oh wow so you got someone coming towards you i'm getting someone wants a new beginning with you and whoever this is they want to take things to the next level with you they see you as marriage material Shit, there's someone coming to propose to you or something. This is what it looks like. Could be an Aries for some of you. Wow, whoever it is, you could have a twin flame connection here. This looks like twin flame union. Someone's trying to manifest a twin flame union during this time. Wow, you could be busy focusing on work during this time. You don't even see this coming. <laughs> Your back's turned. But yeah, you got someone taking a huge leap of faith towards you during this time. Wow. And they are hoping to take things to the next level here. Shit. Yeah. So we've got this message here. This is someone that sees you, sees you in their future. This is someone that sees a future with you. You are this person's future as far as they're concerned. It looks like whoever this is, you're their future. This is your twin flame for some of you. Shit. There's a lot of anxiety, though, in this situation. So this is someone that's nervous. They feel trapped. Someone feels trapped. Mm. I feel like this is fated to happen, though. Yeah, this is a spiritual connection. we got fate. So this is fate taking place. Destiny. Shit. Oh, wow. You guys are manifesting. <laughs> Let's clarify. Let's get some more insight here. Clarify these cards. So, quick announcement. If you're new, just uh, be aware that I only post my readings on this platform. On YouTube, I don't post my readings on any other platform. So, if you do come across my readings anywhere else, it is fake. Please do not be scammed by anyone out here pretending to be me. I only upload on YouTube and I don't reach out to anybody either. So please do not, do not be scammed out here by someone pretending to be me. Right, so let's get back to the reading. Wow. Shit, we've got the devil in reverse. Oh, wow. Okay, I see what's going on. So whoever this is taking this leap of faith to come towards you is actually someone <laughs> that turned their back on you this is what i'm getting and now they want to return back to you now two of ones in reverse they turn their back on you here this is someone that that chose a different path it looks like it looks like they chose the wrong path this is someone that had a choice between you and someone else and they i feel like they chose someone else there's a third party attached to the situation here for your pentacle for your cups yeah they chose the wrong path here and they turn their back on you here so now it looks like they want to return back to you this is someone that's returning they want to reconcile they want to return this is what i'm getting i feel like you've already detached though from this person with the devil in reverse you have already detached from this situation. It's a toxic third party situation I'm getting. This was a third party situation and it was toxic. And this is someone that may have tried to keep you attached to it as well. With the devil energy. Yeah. Because they're trapped. Whoever this is, they are actually trapped. They feel trapped in their current circumstances here. And they probably tried to keep you trapped with them. With this fair party. Yeah. <laughs> but you detached. 
the devil in reverse you took your power back you took your power back you may have blocked this person i feel there's five of swords in reverse yeah page of swords in reverse they feel trapped i don't know this is someone This is someone that you may feel is a waste of time for some of you. Seven Pentacles in reverse. I mean, this is someone that's been waiting or they've been having you waiting. They're trying to have you waiting. I'm getting that. This is someone that was trying to leave you waiting here. This is someone that will leave you hanging. Stringing you along. Yeah, this is someone that was just... Live a very toxic lifestyle here. This is someone that's into third parties and they try to make you a third party, try to keep you attached to this third party situation. Playing games. Yeah, this is someone that pushed you away with their mind games, manipulation here. They try to control this situation. Yeah, by keeping you attached to it here. But they were playing too much games. Five of Swords in reverse. I mean... This is someone that's been exposed. You clocked on. And you detached. This is it. This is someone. They probably feel shamed. I'm getting with the Five of Swords energy. This is someone that probably got exposed publicly. They feel shamed. It's like everybody knows. I feel like everybody knows what this person done to you. There's people talking about part of you here. There's a lot of gossip. Mm, there's a lot of gossip here. Whoever this is, they do gossip about you a lot. They talk about you a lot. To their friends, family members. Yeah. This is someone that's attached to a third party. Like family members, friends. that all gossip and chat shit and whatever. They gang stalk you. Yeah, this is, this is someone stalking you. These people stalk you. This is someone... That's been stalking you. This is what I'm getting. I feel like there's, there's a fear of losing you at this point. This is someone going through a lot of anxiety now. This is why they're taking this leap of faith to return back to you. They're going through a lot of anxiety now. This is what I'm getting. They fear losing you. This is what it looks like. They want to take this leap of faith. Because this is someone um, <gasps> that made a bad choice, a bad investment here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. They're hoping to come back and make peace with you here. This is someone that wants to end the conflict between you and them. They want to. Uh, they want you to um, talk to them. Because it looks like this is someone you're not even talking to during this time. With this Five of Swords energy. Like, things are that bad. Things are really that bad. <laughs> yeah, this is someone that's hoping to talk to you during this time. Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety. This is what I'm getting. They feel trapped. They trapped themselves here. It looks like they chose the wrong path. They had a choice and they made the wrong choice, it looks like. Wow, I know they, they feel trapped in this third party situation. Yeah. Wow, look, yeah, we got so we got waiting. This is someone waiting. This is someone that is that was making you wait or something. They they want you to wait. Take it how it resonates. This is someone that was wasting time waiting, they're waiting for something. Wasting time. Yeah, this is what I picked up for some of you. You feel like this this is someone that is a waste of time. Oh, yeah, they're playing games, playing mind games with you. They're playing games. This is someone that was trying to waste your time for some of you. Yeah, this is someone you could have, um, you could have invested, you know, some time and energy into this person here. And you just you just feel like it was just a waste of time. Like, this person, they really turned their back on you here and chose another path. They chose a third party situation over you. And still tried to keep you attached to it as well. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Ever since she's gotten body work, she's hardly home. So I'm getting this masculine. This is a masculine energy that's dealing with a female. This, yeah, this third party situation here. It looks like there's a female. It's hardly home. <laughs> she got she got a BBL or something. And now she's outside. Showing off her body. She's hardly home. <laughs> so maybe this is why this masculine wants to take a leap of faith towards you now. Because you look more stable. You look like someone, you know, that's always at home or something. You know? You're more stable. You can provide more stability. Because it looks like they chose a <laughs> they chose to go with someone that's hardly home <laughs> yeah and it looks like they want to return back to you but i feel like you're not interested this person is a waste of time you know you play too much games and now they feel trapped because they're stuck in a situation with someone that's hardly home she's outside showing off her body to other people <laughs> Now they want to come back to you. Yeah. This is what's going on for some of you. Yeah, it's a third party situation. Look, confirmation. This is a third party situation. <clears throat> so I feel like they want to come in. This is someone that wants to come and lock you down during this time. But they're trying to keep you attached to a third party situation because this is someone that's still seeing someone else. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This is why you feel like this is a, this person is a waste of time. This situation is a waste of time. Yeah, because I can see you got your back turned here. I don't feel like you're interested. You're, you're this is someone that's a waste of time at this point. But some of you, this is someone that's got health issues. Maybe this is what they're hiding from you. They're waiting for some results to do with their health. Because they're waiting for something. I don't know what this, this mask is waiting for. They could be waiting for results for their health. I'm getting that. This is the mask they, they could They could be sick. They have an illness for some of you. There's something to do with their health here. This mask is sick. Maybe this is why they want to come towards you. They want someone that's stable, that's always at home, to look after them. Because they're sick. They settle for someone that's hardly home. This is someone that's not going to nurse them and get them back together and make them feel better again. This is someone that's outside. Mm, this is who this masculine turned their back on you. Look, I'm telling you, this, this masculine turned their back on you. Two ones, look, they turn their head. Their head was turned. They chose a different path here. Yeah, because she, she maybe she had a, you know, a fat ass. She got a big booty. Yeah, it's a BBL though for some of you, it's body work. But this masculine is shallow. They're just, you know, they're obsessed with, you know, looks and, you know, material things. They're very shallow, so... As long as it looks good yeah they don't care if it's real or not so yeah their heads turn they they chose and they they walked away from you this masculine this masculine walked away from you they let go of your hand here to go chase after this big booty yeah and now the big booty's outside the big booty don't want to settle down the big booty wants to be outside show off her body she's hardly home Maybe she makes um, her money using her body. So she's hardly home. She's making money. I don't know. She ain't got time for this masculine. Wow. And then here you are, nice and stable. You know, marriage material, wifey material. Yeah. Very grounded. You know, Queen of Pentacles. It's the energy of someone very grounded, practical, someone that... You know, that knows how to keep a home. This is a good mother. This is someone that, you know, is a good wife, good partner, very stable, good business partner, very good with money. Yeah, you can take care of shit. You're a boss chick. Yeah, queen of pentacles. You can take care of home and business. You know, 
And you can take care of people of you know, you can heal this you can help heal this masculine. This masculine needs healing. They're sick. And they ain't got no one to look after them for some of you. Yeah, because whoever they chose over you is <laughs> hardly home. Oh, I'm done. Let's stop it. <laughs> yeah, accepting differences. This came out. Yeah, you and this masculine is different. Maybe this is why you guys are not getting along. Yeah, this masculine here. But then, as they say, opposites attract. Hmm? I don't know. It's a case of opposites attract. You guys are like yin and yang. Shit, twin flames, isn't it? So you guys are like yin and yang, man. Shit. This masculine wants, uh, wants to reunite with you. Shit. Yeah, they need some nurturing, it looks like. They're sick. I feel like this is what's going on. Good news. Oh, you're getting good news. Oh, expect good news out of this situation, it looks like. Forever and always. I'm telling you. This masculine here, yeah, this clarifies future. <laughs> you are this masculine's future as far as they're concerned. Mm. As far as they're concerned, you're their future. They tried to hold on to you here, but they were holding on to you in a toxic way. Trying to keep you attached to a third party situation. Trying to keep you attached while they still flirt and sleep with other people out here. So you detach. You know your worth. Now this masculine sees your worth as well. Mm. Mm. Forever and always. Yeah, this masculine wants to... Come back into your life to stay, it looks like. Well, I, I don't know. I feel like this masculine still got bad habits. They still got bad habits. For some of you, this masculine is a workaholic. So during this time, they're not really available for a relationship. They just want to lock you down so you don't go and be happy with someone else. It's a desperate attempt to hold on to you or something. But they're a workaholic. They're unavailable for a relationship. This is a masculine. I feel like they've got financial struggles. So they're going to put work first. They're putting money first. And this is that tie. This is what's... Uh, these These could be issues here. These could create issues moving forward with just masculine during this time. Because they're not even available. They ain't even got time. For some reason, I'm saying that like, you might find this masculine is a waste of time. Like, they're just <laughs> they're wasting your time here or something. They're trying to make you wait for them while they sort out their life. I don't know. It's created conflict now. You and this masculine don't talk. I'm telling you. You guys uh, fell apart. You, guys, you and this masculine are not seeing eye to eye. During this time. Mm. Yeah, this must be may have wasted your time. We got detached. Physical relationship only. This must be wants to sleep with you. Yeah, it's a physical relationship only. They only want sex from you during this time. Yeah, they're not available for a relationship. Because <laughs> yeah, they're always working. They may have what they may work long hours or they work hard or they're always working. They don't have time for an but they do have time for sex, though. Yeah, they'll make time for that. For a quickie or something. Yeah. They make time for that. Yeah, they're not available for relationships. So this is just a, a desperate attempt to hold on to you, I feel. If they come towards you during this time, this masculine still, still has... Um, still have to sort out their life, I feel. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like this masculine is still sleeping around, man. They're still sleeping around out here. Yeah, anything else about this situation? Oh, they're jealous. That's what it is. They love you. Shit, it's love. It's love, but... I'm getting this toxic, though. It's toxic love. This love is not... This masculine loves you, but they don't know how to love in a healthy way. This is toxic. This is toxic. 
This person doesn't know how to love in a healthy way. They may lack self-love, that's why. So their insecurity gets the best of them, man. Yeah, I feel like it's just... If they do come towards you during this time with a proposal or whatever, then it's just an attempt to hold on to you because they're jealous. They don't. This is someone that doesn't want to see you happy with anybody else. It's out of jealousy. Because this masculine can't, they're not even available to give you a relationship that you deserve. The Queen of Pentacles, you know, needs to be with a king. You know, needs to be, a, you know, with someone that's, that, that's commit, that can be committed and stable. This, this is someone here that's trapped. They're still trapped with this third party situation. Yeah. So they can't even give you the relationship you deserve during this time. So it's just all out of jealousy. They're just reaching out, trying to come towards you during this time because it's just out of jealousy. They just don't want to see you happy with someone else. They feel like you belong to them. They love you. You're the love of their life. But then they, they turn their back on you here. I mean, shit. This is some toxic love. This what kind of love... <laughs> This is someone that's they're still turning their head. I mean, they're still sleeping with other people. So it's toxic. This is someone, if you get in a relationship with this person during this time, they'll be cheating on you left, right and centre. I don't know. It's like they got sex addictions or something. This is someone that, um, I feel like this is someone that, um, they may struggle in a monogamous relationship. I'm getting that this is someone that will struggle in a mon monogamous relationship. This is someone, they, they may be into polygamy or something. Mm. They will struggle, though, in a monogamous relationship. They will struggle to be faithful, whoever this is. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, this is someone that feels like you turn your back on them. You're not giving them no attention. This says, all you have time for is your family and friends. When are we going to get back to the business of us? So this is someone that feels like, this is someone waiting for you, for some of you. This is what I'm getting. They're waiting for you now. Maybe this is someone that was making you wait for them. And now the, the tables have turned. They're waiting for you now. They're saying, all you have time for is your family and friends. When are we going to get back to the business of us? So they're waiting for you to give them some attention. Yeah, you, you're not giving this, whoever this is, you're not giving them their attention. Because you can see their attention is elsewhere. Their attention is elsewhere. They weren't focused on you. This is someone that's easily distracted, man. Whoever this masculine is, they're easily distracted. They weren't focused on you. So now you're focusing your time and energy into, you know, your loved ones. You know, into yourself. People that will appreciate it. This this is someone that don't even appreciate when you do give them time and attention. They don't even appreciate it anyway. They're still, you know, thirsty. Thirsty for more. I don't know. It's crazy. Because when you do give them time and attention, they waste your time. It's just a waste of time. This person turned their back on you and chose someone with a with a with a big booty. And now she's hardly home. And this masculine needs someone to be at home to look after him because he's sick. I mean, it's crazy. So now they want you to get back to the business of us. So now they're saying, when are you going to get back to the business of us? They're waiting for you to get back to the business of us. But when you was in the business with this masculine, they were focused on big booties. They were focused on hitting somebody else's, you know, hitting, hitting, hitting that ass. Yeah, look, this is what they were planning to do when you was into the business with this masculine, when you was investing your time and energy. For some of you, I mean, yeah, you could have, um, yeah, really invested time, gave this masculine time, your energy, your love, your care, attention and all that. And they still turn their back here. Their heads still turn. 
This must have got problems. They're a sex addict, man. I'm telling you, this is someone that will struggle in a monogamous relationship. They would. <laughs> they would struggle to be faithful. Oh my gosh. Yet yeah, they want a happy relationship or marriage with you. Yeah. This is what they would love. They love the idea of it. But this is someone that's not able to provide it. Yeah. They're not able to provide it. A happy relationship or marriage. Not with this attitude. They're not able to provide it. Not with these behaviours. They're not able to provide a happy relationship or marriage. But this is what they want. They're obsessed with the idea of it though. With you. But can they fulfil it? That's the question. Mm. This is someone that will struggle. Oh shit. This keeps coming out. This message. Yeah, for some of you, this masculine, they got a boyfriend. They're having an affair here. They're having an affair, same sex affair. They got a boyfriend as well. So, I mean, this masculine here would cheat on you. They'll sneak behind your back here. They'll sleep with their boyfriend. I'm telling you. Yeah, let me be your specialist. This masculine's a snake. You can't trust this masculine. Yeah, this masculine can't be trusted. I'm sorry. They're getting, they're, someone feels falsely accused. Wow. This masculine wants to cook for you. They like to cook. They want to cook dinner for you. See, this masculine, this masculine turned their back on you for, for someone that was giving them money. A woman paying for the affections of a man. <sighs> this may tie in with the cancer reading I just did. I mean, yeah, this, this. There's a masculine in here that's like money hungry. I mean, they're struggling. I'm telling you. And they choose people or situations. Money that's got money over love. So this is what happens. This masculine turn their back on you. To be in a situation with someone that's, that's supporting them financially. There's a female that's supporting this masculine financially. They were giving this masculine money. This is why they chose... This situation, they chose the wrong path here. They chose the wrong path here. Yeah, this masculine chose the wrong path. They settled for this path here. Where they can indulge in, uh, you know, same-sex love affairs and stuff. This is what I'm getting, I mean... This is what they chose over you while you was, uh, you know, taking care of home, taking care of business, taking care of, you know, what you got to take care of, family and home and business. This masculine was out here for the streets, it was like, <laughs> they probably still are, I'm getting. This masculine's still out here for the streets. Yeah, look, this came out, I didn't even see it, sorry. So they want to quit the game. This is this masculine actually deep down. It looks like they feel like they want to quit the game. He says, "You make me want to be the guy to give up the secrecy and quit the game." Shit, yeah, they know they're a player, but um, yeah, you make them want to change. Oh wow! So you do, you do have an impact on this masculine here. You do. You have created some sort of impact on this masculine here. You have like a twin flame connection. So you you inspire this masculine. Wow. I feel like you turning your back on this masculine is making them look at themselves. Now they want to change. They want to quit the game. But yeah, I feel like they should quit the game first then. Before they take this leap of faith. Because it looks like they want to take a leap of faith. As a desperate attempt here to hold on to you during this time because yeah they feel like they're losing you they made the wrong choice <laughs> they chose someone that's hardly home i mean <laughs> they're not getting no attention from whoever they chose over you they this is must they need some nurturing they need someone to to take care of them take care of home they need someone stable they want a wife that's stable, that's homely. 
I don't know. Maybe they tried to turn a hoe into a housewife. Yeah, and it backfired. I don't know. Maybe they tried to turn a hoe into a housewife for some of you, and it backfired. She's hardly home. <laughs> they turned their back on you. To go and turn a hoe into a housewife. Yeah. Maybe because she was giving them money. I don't know. Shit, sold you out, man. This masculine sold you out for three pieces of silver. Wow. This is what I'm getting. Oh, my gosh. Now you and this masculine don't even see eye to eye. This masculine's not even on your level. They're not even on your level here. Shit. All they can do is watch you now. They're watching you, waiting. <laughs> they feel trapped. They trap themselves here. This masculine absolutely trapped themselves at this point. And it looks like they want to try and keep you trapped as well with them. A desperate attempt to hold on to you here. Yeah? Mm. This is what it looks like. This, yeah, it's toxic. This is toxic love. Let's, let's see now. So we've got success. Ooh. So yeah, you, you're on the path of success. you got success. You're successful in this situation. Yeah, you got success coming in. For some of you, it's financial success. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of, that's the feminine energy of someone that's very um financially successful. You you know, that's the energy of um someone that creates, manifests wealth. Shit, you got financial success coming in. You got some sort of success coming in here. Wow, so whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You are successful. That's beautiful. And listen to your intuition. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Because this master is coming towards you during this time here. To try and uh, manipulate you, I feel. So that you can wait for them. So you can, you know, s stay trapped with them. <laughs> so I feel like they're not going to tell you about this third party and what they got going on. They're not going to admit that they actually chose a Jezebel over you. They tried to turn a hoe into a housewife and that's what they chose over you. And then now she's hardly home and they want you back. They're not going to say that. So listen to your intuition. <laughs> you know what time it is with this masculine here. I feel like your intuition is protecting you in this situation. This is why the devil's in reverse. Because <laughs> your intuition is protecting you. From this masculine's energy, man. It's toxic. Yeah, it's toxic. They're still sleeping around out here. Yeah, they're still indulging. And sexual activities here. With both both with both boys and girls. So listen to your intuition. Yeah, because this is someone else. They're not gonna tell you all that. They just want you, you know, they're just trying to lock you down here so that you can look after them. For some of you, this masculine is sick. Oh my gosh. This is what I'm getting. Look, we've got within the next few weeks. So I feel like this situation is going to play out over the next few weeks. This is what I'm getting. Mm. Within the next few weeks. Hey, yeah. It's a matter of time. It is a matter of time here. You know, for this situation, this is something that's gonna um change. I feel like there's major changes taking place. We got to get more information. Wow. So there's more to the situation that meets the eye. I'm telling you, you need to listen to your intuition. There's more to this situation that meets the eye. All is not as it seems with this masculine. I feel like they're hiding a lot. Yeah. This is not a situation to rush into here. You need to get more information here. For some of you. Wow. Yeah, get more information. Listen to your intuition. So it does look like you're going to get more information about this, this situation with this masculine here. Yeah, there's still more. You're going to, there's still more. You don't know everything at this point. 
don't know everything. So this is why you need to listen to your intuition and protect yourself. Have your boundaries because there's, there's still more information that's going to come out here about this situation. Mm. I'm also getting this masculine is out here getting information on you as well. Yeah, this masculine is out there. They feel like, uh, you know, you got your back turned to them and you're seeing somebody else. Because they're stalking you. <laughs> Page of Swords. They're talking about you. They try to get info here. They're talking about you. They're trying to get info. They're getting information. They're trying to get more information. They're getting information on you. They're stalking you during this time. This is what I'm getting. Mm. So it looks like it's a matter of time before they take this leap of faith here. Because they are jealous. Who this masculine is? I'm telling you, they feel like you belong to them. They're not letting you go that easy. So listen to your intuition, I'm getting. Yeah, that's what's bringing you the success. Your intuition is on point. Oh my gosh, your intuition is accurate. So do not doubt yourself, yeah? I'm sure you are someone that trusts your intuition. This is why you're in the position that you're in, you are in now, <laughs> you know? In a successful position. This is why the devil is in reverse. The devil has been defeated in this situation here. Yeah, that's the power of self-love. Wow, beautiful. So, that's the message. Good luck with this situation. I hope this reading helps you guys. If it does resonate with you in any way, please leave a comment, leave some feedback. I really appreciate it. But you can also just uh, give this video a like, click the thumbs up. I'll appreciate that too. I appreciate all your support, you guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you join me in the next video. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.